Hey, it's Phil from Euroheat, and if you're thinking about integrating hydronic floor cooling into your hydronic system, the next 60 seconds could really save you some headaches in the future. So let's for a second think about when you take a cold drink out of the fridge on a warm day. After a few minutes, you'll notice that it's basically wet on the outside. The drink is wet on the outside. And what's happening here is that moisture from the air is condensing on the surface of the, the cold surface of the drink because the temperature is outside, the, the surface temperature is outside that of the dew point. So the same thing can happen to your floor cooling if it's not designed and, and installed properly. Now, if you do overcool the floor without regards to the dew point, what can happen is you can get puddles of moisture on the floor. And obviously that's not ideal because someone could slip and hurt themselves on that condensation. It can damage your floor coverings. It can damage your furniture or your skirtings. And potentially even mold can grow over time, which is definitely not what you want inside your house. So how do you avoid having condensation form on the surface of your floors? Well, the really simple and basic way to do it, uh, which works but is not ideal, is you just make the water temperature, the cooling water temperature really high that's traveling through your floors. And that way you, you very, very rarely get close to that dew point. And that's what uh, a lot of contractors do. Another way is that they might uh, monitor the surface temperature of the floor to make sure it doesn't become within the uh, parameters of the dew point, but they still, only, they still send the same temperature water through the floor all the time. So that means that if you get close to that dew point, it's gonna shut the system off and you're left without cooling. So how we do it uh, is a two-step process where they can either work together or it can work separately. And so the first step is that we are constantly monitoring the temperature and the humidity inside and outside so we know exactly where the, where the dew point lies. And then we mix the water temperature accordingly so that it's always just outside of that boundary. So we never actually touch that dew point, but we can still achieve maximum floor cooling output from this. Now the second way is that we dehumidify the air. And we do that either by uh, using a dehumidifier or even through a combined floor cooling and air conditioning system as we have here at this project. So that means that we can automatically turn on this dehumidification or this air conditioning which removes moisture from the air and we can increase the amount of cooling output that we can achieve from the floor without any condensation forming, guaranteed. So if you'd like help in designing and installing a floor cooling system which will work as it should and give you maximum output and never run the risk of having condensation forming on the floor, give us a call at Euroheat. We'd love to have a 15 minute chat about how best to integrate this system into your building and to make sure that it's energy efficient and comfortable all the time.